Sturgeon City is a nonprofit that was actually formed by the city of Jacksonville, and we provide environmental education programs, everything from field trips to summer camps to birthday parties to outreach. To we operate out of the former wastewater treatment plant for the city of Jacksonville. It closed completely in 1998 and essentially what had unfortunately happened was that the bay, which we're looking partly at here right now, Wilson Bay, was polluted because the plant discharged directly into the bay but never really operated up to capacity so the material discharging was contaminated and pretty much completely killed off all life um, in Wilson Bay. And so when the plant completely closed they built a new land application plant um, in a different area of town which still operates and they decided to keep this facility rather than to tear it down and to use it as a place to kind of learn from past mistakes and hopefully teach future generations how to take better care of their environment. Over the years, many different restoration projects and other research projects have taken place at this site. Um, the first of which were the wetland restoration. What you're looking at right now behind us here is nine acres of restored wetland. These plants were hand planted by hundreds of volunteers um, over a multi-year period. These boardwalks were built as part of that restoration project as well. And there were also actually aeration units, once out in Wilson Bay, which were just removed about six months ago. And those helped to restore oxygen flow to the deeper water and help bring life back. So by getting them better oxygen and better water circulation, they get healthy and it brings back the other fish and aquatic life. And then we also um, do oyster restoration one of the other major reasons they decided to restore these wetlands was because with having a wastewater treatment plant here you have a lot of hard surface whether it's the concrete from the old plant or the paving from the roads or the buildings that are on site here you have a lot of runoff concerns because all those hard surfaces um, mean the water just runs right off washes everything down that comes off the facility so these wetlands also act as a filter so anything that runs off the plant naturally now you know in towards the bay is filtered by these wetlands um, and they also provide a great habitat you can see a variety of animals. I mean, of course, we have a bay right here, but we're also freshwater fed um, from the New River and from the other streams and creeks that come in. Um, so we are what's considered brackish. So meaning, you know, lower salinity than the ocean, um, but we do still have salt water. It's still tidally influenced. So in the actual water, you know, of course, you're going to see a lot of fish. Um, and basically, most of what lives out in the ocean eventually will spawn here in the less salty or even fresh water sometimes. And so a lot of the commercially viable fish species start out here in this type of area so we're important for that reason. Um, in the wetland itself we see a lot of dragonflies, um, red-winged blackbirds are a classic species to see in this type of area as well as lots of other bird species. Um, we have little mud crabs and other types of small crabs that live you know down inside the wetland here too. Um, we have blue crab that live right along the edges of this wetland and we actually get chances with our students to bring them out to the dock and let them try to go crabbing um, which is great you know that experience for them um, to get a sea crab up close so there are really a lot of benefits that this provides and it's also a great educational space. Sometimes there are still opportunities. Of course, there was a lot of volunteer involvement in the early stages when the wetlands were initially restored and the boardwalks were built and things like that. Um, if you're noticing some of these racks um, that kind of hang off the side of the boardwalk here behind me, those were actually built by our local Rotary Club. They're for us to use for our canoes and kayaks um, because this is a, an available canoe and kayak launch as well. Um, and sometimes we have events, sometimes it's more educational based, you know, that we need volunteers for, but there's always other cleanup going on. Um, you know, we do trash pickup. Sometimes we actually go out, you know, in the bay and do trash pickup around the banks. Um, so definitely you could reach out, you know, to Sturgeon City and let us know if you're interested in helping out.